Hi guys, more stash. Um, the last video clip, my camera died. I pulled out my old camcorder and for some reason it wouldn't download. So I'm trying to remember what all I, I, I went through. I know I had a good 10-15 minutes on it. and um, Those of you who load, reload, 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 I understand your frustration now. <laughs> this is the first time it's happened to me. Alright, so um, the next grouping is going to be custom crafts. Um, I have three of these. This one is called Fire and Ice. Isn't that beautiful? I'm not one for stitching on a black background. Um, I will do it, but I can only do it during late daylight. For some reason, I have issues with seeing, unless it's Ada. If it's Ada, I don't have a problem because I'll hold it up to the light so I can see the holes. But isn't that just beautiful? Um, I want to say it's a stallion, but anyway, it's Custom Crafts, Fire and Ice, uh, artwork by Cheryl, let's see, Cher Charlene, Charlene, Lynn Skog, Osario, oh, I, I, that's terrible, I, I'm, please forgive me, Charlene, uh, if you, if you read this, anyway, um, it's number SLO-001. Jeanette Cruz Designs. So there's that one. Next one is the Four Horses of the Apocalypse. Same artwork. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? Again, Jeanette Cruz. This is number SLO-003. Four Horses of the Apocalypse. Oh, I like that one. You've got every color. The next one is... Storm in excuse me, a storm encounter. Uh, lightning bolts in the back. This is more of a, a full horse, like I want to say a gelding. But that's just I love that. That is so pretty. Alright, that's it for custom crafts. Next we have this one is Mythical Dragons. Um, the company is called True Colors Cross Stitch. I had never heard of them before. Um, and I can't even remember where I got this from, to be honest with you. Um, it is BCL-10114, uh, designed by Sharon Sutherland Pope. Oh, I can pronounce that one. It does come with the two patterns. Um, and then it comes with, that one has a kind of a bolt gold border. I, I would, um, and then this one they did, looks like they did it on the, with waist canvas on a sweatshirt. That's pretty cool. Alright, um, that's just showing some other True Colors International. Hmm, that's just showing some other. Okay, it's out of Norcross, Georgia. Interesting. Never heard of them. I don't even know if they still are in business. Uh, next grouping is Cross My Heart Incorporated. I've seen some people with some patterns on from this company and I th their their work is just very vibrant, very detailed. Um, they do a lot of um, like animal and insects and nature. That's what I'm trying to say, nature. Okay, so we've got welcome and inside the letters is a different animal for each letter. Um, it's stitched two different ways. It shows you that's really nice. And then, of course, it's got a frog with a welcome. And this is animal welcomes. That's actually the name of the name of the leaflet. And I think that's the only pattern. Yes, you get you get those two patterns, but it shows you how you can do it in different ways. Okay, so there's that one. Next we have Naturally Cats. Um, let's see, for the Animal Welcomes, that was CSB-253. This is CSB-245. And it is the two different sets of cats. Um, designed by Sherry Step. And the last name I'm not going to try to pronounce. It's A W E A U. Um, so I think, yeah, it's just it's those two cats. You've got the Siamese, and then you've got your your tabby. Um, I think I thought I have another one. Yeah. Um, okay, here's another set of cats. Uh, Naturally, cats two. This is C S B two five zero. So pretty. And then you've got like. Not really a Persian. I don't know what type of cat that is. It doesn't say, but I got that. Um, okay, next we have 
Eye of the Tiger. Um, <clears throat> this is CSB 258. Um, and if you, I don't know if you can see, inside the Eye of the Tiger, you see two little tiny tiger heads as a silhouette. Isn't that neat? That is just so cool. That's why I got it, because I just thought that's just neat. Could be a mom looking at her cubs. Who knows? So then we have Watercolor Wildflowers, CSB257. And I like these. My stepmother, uh, she does artworks by Anita Ray. She does watercolors, and I have several in my house that she has done. Um, I, I see this, and this is this is something that I think she would do um, as far as a watercolor. But, the, like, turn this into a cross stitch. And there's a lot of half stitches for the background colors. Um, I don't mind those because it's pretty quick to go through because you don't have to go back over and cross them. So, don't mind the half cross stitches. That one's pretty. And last but not least, I, this is called the Butterfly CBS254. And... If I had a better camera, you, you could really appreciate the vibrant colors in this. Um, there's a bee in the flowers. There's Over there is a spider on the leaves. And up above the spider, there's a little tiny, like, I want to say a caterpillar. Down at the bottom in the corner, there's a little frog. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this one. I will do that one one day. All right. Next grouping, we have... Dun, dun, dun. Near North Treasures Collection. First one is called Winter Unicorn by Diane Allaire. Allaire. This is NNT-032. This is uh, like a wintry, it's a winter unicorn. Uh, from the artwork of, looks like Alice. It just says Alice. Hmm finished it's 11 by 14 so I like that that one's cute um, the next one I have in this with this company is called when children dream NNT-006 uh, artwork of Sue Daw D-I-W-E again the Near North Treasures collection um, and then you've got a Pegasus in the Moonlight, and let's see, those are, that must be the daddy, because the two lying down are also Pegasus, but they've got their wings folded down, and I've never seen an image like that of a Pegasus with the wings folded down, I've always seen them out or to the side, or, but I like that one, and maybe one day I'll do that one too. Next one we have is Serenity by Diane Allaire as well, NNT-051. Artwork by Charlene, and I'm not going to try to pronounce her name again. Uh, apparently, she does artwork for different companies, uh, because I think it was the Cross My Heart that she did the other one on. But anyway, um, so this one is called Serenity. Um, let's see, the next one we have is called Black Wolf. Let's see if it's just the one. Yes, I think it's just the one, yeah, Black Wolf. Um... I think they're all, none of these have, none of these have back stitching. This one is JW-022, artwork by JW Baker. Um, and I'm finding that, yeah, the numbers, the letters at the beginning are the letters to each artist. This one is called Howling Wolf. I like that one too. He actually has like um, warm breath coming out of his mouth as he's howling. That's really nice. Designed by Diana Lohr. Artwork by Marilyn A. Boyle. Um, this is MBW-001. The next one I have is called Jaguar Moon. Oh, love this one. JW-032 again. The artwork of JW Baker. Designed by Diana Lair. Allaire. I'm not going to pronounce her name anymore. We'll say Diane. <laughs> there you go. That is just, I love that. Um, and these are all 13 by 18, so they're, I mean, they're not too big. So they're doable. 
in a lifetime. This one is called Sheba the Leopard, and this is the last one in this grouping. Sheba the Leopard, um, JW-033, again designed by Diane, and the artwork again of J.W. Baker, but I like that one. That one looks like, I mean, he could just jump right out at you. It looks so real. Love that. Alright, so that's that for that grouping. Um, these are just some safari ones. Again, um, Janet Cruz Designs. This is called Explore Casablanca by Stephanie Hedgepath. It doesn't have... Yeah, just J.W. Cruz, Townsend, Georgia. A lot of these are local, local um, creators, and, and I support that. We don't have a specialty needle shop in our town anymore. We just have Hobby Lobby. What little bit they brought back to Walmart and Michaels, and that's that's the extent of anything stitchy that you'll find here in town. So. I'm going to go to Chattanooga and see if they can... I'm going to Google Chattanooga and see if they've got any st st stitching, um, specialty stitching shops. But there's a little monkey and um, next to a palm tree and then you've got a camel and then you've got an Arabian sitting on a horse with the palm trees in the back or coconut trees or whatever they are. And then you've got... I like that one. That one's really cool. It looks like they're... That's a llama sitting down. And then on the back you've got like temple of some sorts or a city gate and then the palm trees um, I'm not sure if there's any let me see if there's any more designs in here no nope, that's it but that that's quite a bit so I like that one uh, next grouping again with the safari theme we've got the safari collection by green apple company um, this is 617-g designed by Janet Powers. I uh, originally got this because my sister has a huge... These are all the ones that you can get. This one is not... These are individuals. This is not in this grouping. There's a rhino. How often do you see a rhino? Amazing. Cool. Alright, so anyway, so I've got the elephant. Um, yeah, my sister's got a big lion's head that she bought years ago and put on her wall, but um, she doesn't have anything else to up there to match it. Again, the Green Apple Company Safari Collection, the Zebra. And he has a water reflection. Actually, it is three zebras drinking in the water. Um, same designer, Janet Powers. Again, Janet Powers again. It's, uh, Safari Collection. Again, this is the giraffes. So there's two giraffes facing the camera. Alright, that's that collection. Now, next grouping, X's and O's. Original cross-stitch design based on the artwork of that Danella, Daniela Oi, or Oi. This is Four Frogs, it's a birth announcement. Now, I have never seen, oh, sorry, my finger got in the way. I have never seen a birth announcement with frogs, and I, I really liked this. Her patterns are very simple, um... Nice intricate, got gold. I like all that. It was so cool. So there's that. Um, that one was there's not a there's not a number on that one. And the other X's and O's, I only have the two. It's called Friendship Collection. This has several and gives you ideas. Um, I've got to get my finger out of the way. Hang on, let me oh readjust. There we go. I had to readjust my hand. Um, friends are angels who lift us to our feet when our wings have trouble remembering how to fly. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Um, I like a friend better for having faults that one can talk about. It's funny too. Good friends are like stars. You may not always see them, but you know they're there. That's true. Um, Joanne Gantneby? G-A-T-E-N-B-Y? Again, X's and O's. Um, I've seen some people with X's and O's collections. Don't see them very often, but... Alright, so there's that. Um, I'm going to leave you with that. There's quite a few to go with. We're 15 minutes in, and I'm going to... <sighs> see if I can get some work done around the house. Peace out! Please subscribe if you haven't already. More to come!
Mine. Mine only. Nobody takes away my twilight. She's gonna get it. Yeah. I have no problems to deal with. Please don't do She wants to play. She, she's playing. She's playing with me. Are you excited when you can't talk to Mama last night? Yes. I love you, little monkey. Love you too, Daddy. Bye. Bye bye. We are back on schedule. Now let me have that one story card. Don't you dare mess with your own pony. Oh. I'm not. The cat is. Bounce on the Handle the story card. What does it say? 